Well, welcome. My name is Pastor Gordon Rumble, and we're here again for the two minute warning. And our question today comes, why didn't God end sin when he died on the cross? That's a very, very good question. Jesus, when he was about 30 years old, was walking one day coming out of the wilderness and he, he met his first cousin who was John the Baptist. And John the Baptist said these words to him. He says, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. And when Jesus went to the cross, that's what he did. He took care of sin for us that as we live in this world. But the thing is, the presence of sin is still there. So what did the cross do? When Jesus died on the cross, forever he covered the penalty of our sin. When I place my faith in Christ, because he died on the cross, the penalty of sin will never be on my account. It's on his account, so I have forgiveness forever. Another thing he did when he walked out of the tomb, he took care of the power of sin. When he came out of the tomb, that means I can walk in newness of life. I can have the same power that he did when he came out of the tomb. So he took care of the penalty of sin on the cross. He took care of the power of sin when he came out of the grave. But we got another problem. It's the presence of sin. And we will have that with us uh, until we die and go to heaven. And the reason the Lord leaves the presence of sin is that we have the battle of flesh against the spirit, spirit against the flesh. But when we take the power that he gave us as the indwelling spirit when he came out of the grave, we can have great victory. The Bible says greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Because of that, someday we have the promise to be free from the penalty, the power, and the very presence of sin all through Jesus Christ where he began on the cross. The Bible says that the way of the cross never stops at the cross. The way of the tomb it leads on to the victorious grace in the heavenly place where our risen Lord is gone. No more sin. Thank you.